Okay, hi everyone. I wanted to show you one way of completing week four assignment two using the color panel and the color guide panel and the edit color dialog box in Illustrator. So the first palette should be either a triad or a tetrad. So you might want to go ahead and just write in exactly what you want to do to start with. So I'm going to show you how I would do a triad here. And really, I'm not going to complete the assignment. I'm just going to show you how I would choose the colors and place them in the um, in the palette here. And there's another video that shows you how to blend them correctly. Anyway, so the first thing I would do is decide on a base hue. And I'm going to use this blue as a base hue right here. And you can see that I found the blue on my H scale in the HSB palette. And making sure that it's at 100% uh, saturation and 100% brightness. I can change that later, but for right now, that's um, that's where I want it to be. Now, in my color guide, I'm going to go ahead and click on this down arrow and scroll down to find a triad pattern. And automatically, the colors that I need to create that triad come up for me. So I know I need a blue, this red, and this yellow. Now I'm going to click on the Edit Colors uh, Color Wheel button right here. And you'll see that it gives me this Edit Colors dialog box. And this is a very handy box when you're working with color harmonies. You can see here with this down arrow that you can access all of those color harmonies um, right in the Edit Colors dialog box, just as you could in the color guide. So here we see that I have a beautiful equilateral triangle just as I would expect for a triad. Now, I might decide that I want to work with an isosceles triangle instead, and that is absolutely fine. So I can go ahead and break the link here. Um, if I don't break the link, every time I move this around, the others move in accordance. But if I break the link, I can create an isosceles triangle just by moving these two colors and making sure that they are more or less equidistant from each other and from the initial blue. So if you had something like this, that wouldn't be acceptable because that's not a triad. Remember, a triad has to form a nice triangular shape with equal sides, well, two equal sides at least. So, um, so once you've decided on uh, the shape that you want, which triangular shape you're looking for, then uh, you might like to go ahead and lock that down again. And you can further go ahead and change your hues. If you decide you can, uh, you want something different, you can just roll your um, main color around like this and you'll see the hues are changing right here. So I can see what the three colors look like together. And I can also click on this three, this stripey pattern here and I'll see those three colors together. And to go back to the color wheel, I'll click on this one. And now I might decide I want to change the, um, uh, the value of the hues. So I can universally change the value of the hues just by moving this slider right here. Or I can once again break the link and click on any of the hues and change the value or saturation of that particular hue, but still maintaining a triad. So as long as I don't move the H uh, slider there, I can move the saturation and balance slider as much as I like and still maintain a triad. You see the shape is still a triangular shape there. Okay, so I think you'll have a lot of fun. You can lock it down again and move it around again, bring it out, change it around. That's fine, so long as the shape is the same it doesn't really matter. Okay, and then you would click OK, and you might like to save it as a color group, so click Yes, and then you'll find that the colors that you ended up with are in your color guide right here, and they're uh, very easy to go ahead and fit straight into your color palette. So use your direct select tool, and I'll show you which one that is. Okay, so use your white arrow here 
and click on um, a try at one of the main squares there and then you might want to just go ahead and click on the colors under the arrow here that's where they uh, ended up in your edit colors color wheel this row right here or that column right there I should say and then you can go ahead and use the blending techniques that um, the video describes okay uh, if you've got any questions, of course, be sure to let me know, but I hope that was helpful.